Anniversary, well, let's do that together. We can do that together, can't we? We're doing one, two, three. Happy anniversary <laughs> to you. Happy anniversary <laughs> to you. Happy anniversary, <laughs> dear mum and dad. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, anniversary to you. God, that's probably awful. I could probably find some software somewhere I can make us all in tune, but it might take a bit longer. Or oh, Sarah, you were perfectly in tune, of course. Because you've had lessons. Yeah, it didn't help though. Oh, never mind. So yeah, so we first thought we'd do this to try and jog our memories about what wonderful parents we've got. And what, do you start from the earliest memories? Well, Nicola being the oldest, you should have the earliest memory. Yes, well, I don't have any memories of our time in Cumbria. My earliest memory is in Five Trevor Drive. And lots of things about Five Trevor Drive, about us naughty children. I always remember that when Dad used to go away, Mum usually ended up having a little bump with the car and we used to be the first thing we told Dad when he came home. Yes, yeah, so she's crashed here again, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> and I actually remember um, one event in, um, in um, Dalston, probably. Must have been Dalston, which was actually the day that Sarah was born. And really? I can remember being bundled into the car out of the house and I can remember the side of the house in Dalston being like pebble dash or something like that and we had a sand pit at the side of the house as well and I remember being bundled into the house because Sarah was coming along and and you were born at home weren't you Sarah? Yes I was. Don't you remember? Yes oh, I remember it vividly. <laughs> interesting because I don't remember that at all any of that yeah, but... I don't know why I was probably extra bad or something got a whack around the head or something for being naughty I, now you say that and I can't remember this but I have a memory of Sally the spotty dog whacking her tail on that pebbled bungalow was it and her tail bleeding oh yes well Tina I remember that like I don't know because you weren't even born <laughs> How that. But Tina, the spotty dog, did that with Gran and Granddad's china candle, which Mum and Dad now have, oh, and that's yes. why it's got a cracked glass. Yes, that was her tale, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, bless, bless. I thought, yeah. are we here to talk about the pets or the Mum and Dad? Go to Mum and Dad. Go to Mum and Dad. Yes. yes. So, Mike Trevor Drive is my remember m m earliest memory. Yeah. And what do you remember about our parents? And the house. And... I remember about the house and the willow tree and being told off by mum for going up the willow tree to not go 
because I didn't want to go to ballet classes. <laughs> it was brownies. It was brownies. Oh, brownies. Was it brownies? Yeah. I can remember us um, taking tea. It must have been Tina, I think. And we were exploring the stream and we tied it to the railings of the thing. And then we forgot about it and went off exploring the stream, all of us kids, and left poor dog. Poor dog. That was very cool. And do you remember climbing out of the window of your bedroom, yeah. out of one window and around the front and back in yeah. the other? I remember all that. I remember the park and going to church and being taken to Sunday school every Sunday and then running the dog behind the car through the park. Yes, we had the, um, I don't know, was it an estate or something? And the estate. Kick the dog out and then drive off with the hatch back up. Real health and safety stuff, Mum. Well done. Yeah, I remember that too. Yeah, and we used to go to Sunday school there at the church in the park. And we had stamps that used to taste really nice. What? In <laughs> Sunday school, we had stamps that used to taste really nice. I don't remember. I know you stole the the money. This is supposed to be nice <laughs> for <memories. laughs> Because I'm a criminal. Um, I stole it about three times. Again, because yeah. I wanted sweeties. Yeah. Very funny, especially when mum and dad are so very good and churchy. Yes. Yes, I, I, was, um, I don't know how much travelling dad was doing in those days, but it did seem like quite a lot. He was often yeah. away. And then we used to go to the Sanders to um, to stay, didn't we? Oh, that was great. We loved the that. tannery house. Yeah, and their kitchen smelt of mayonnaise, making mayonnaise. I always remember that smell. But yeah. they were really good to us, and that was really nice. And then we, of course, we went on our regular holidays to the Lake District in the summer and to Bognor Regis in the, the winter. winter. Yes. <laughs> And we used to all be stuffed in the car. And I always seem to think that Dad drove. It seems to me that he did, but I can't actually remember for definite if that was always the case. But going to the Lake District, it was a hell. The road wasn't the A66 as it is now. We were an up and down, and it took a hell of a long time. And we had yeah. suitcases on the roof rack. Yeah. And the dog squashed in the back. Yeah, with everything else. Yes. No um, rear seatbelts. Chocolate crumb cake. Ooh, mum's and chocolate crash And powdered soup. <laughs> and egg, egg and chips in a basket at the White Horse Inn. No, it wasn't in a basket. Wasn't it? Chicken and chips in the basket. Chicken and chips in a basket. That was later on, chicken and chips, but it was high tea originally first, and we used to go to high tea. I think it was Mungreiser or somewhere like that at a farmhouse. Yeah. Oh, right. I, I vaguely that. remember that. But we did go to the White Horse as well. And um, I remember Pete Kirby calling Dad a sadist for taking us up a mountain in the crappy weather. And <laughs> I remember thinking, what is a sadist? I must look that <laughs> up. <laughs> and it was like, right. <laughs> and it was right. I seem to remember that every day was raining in the Lake District. No, it wasn't. We used to swim in the stream, not every day. Well, that's the that was only 1976. Well, I remember it. And we used to like to go to Grange, and we liked to be able to be allowed to stay down with Gran and Grandad and play in the stream. Yes. And, and I used to get away with that more often than you two. Yes. Well, because you were little. I was little. Yes, but then I was obviously littler as well because there is some famous story of Dad doing one of his, well, yes. we'll just do the next peak with yes. Nick and me and Mum was with, probably with you and, and Gran at the bottom. We'll just do the next one, just do the next one. And I was so exhausted that Nicola had to carry me. Oh. Yeah, you, and then... Back and Dad all the way the car <laughs> Say again? Dad got told off by Mum for overdoing it. Yes, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and things have changed. Yes, yeah. Is it the other way around now? Does... No, I don't think no, so. I don't think so. No. I don't but, think so. Um, but those were lovely holidays. I thought, if you think back about those holidays, we weren't bothered that there was no telly or anything. We had a great time in the stream. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah. I remember arriving in our little short wellies and within an hour they were full of water. Yeah, and yeah. tadpoles and things and holes. <laughs> yes. But then we had great holidays at Bosnia Regis as well. And Julian, you went fishing with David and stuff. And we and you chased me and Sarah with worms up the beach. Would I do such a thing? Yeah. No, you did. Don't, yeah, don't pick on me. This is about mum and dad. You were <laughs> there. I I'm think not sure how lovely a time dad would have had there, if you think about it, because there wouldn't be as much to do. But maybe it was a restful time. And then we were allowed to go to that toy shop, Hamley's. Hamley's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hamley's. That was fantastic. Yes, yeah. yeah, so with our pocket money, looking yeah. at all the massive red toys and going, mm, no, we haven't got enough of that. <laughs> I'll just get some soldiers instead. Yes. Yeah. I remember arriving at Bognor and we always used to see the downs and go up the downs, down the downs, mm -hmm. around the downs and along the downs. Yeah, we always sang that the song. The downs song, yes. yes. That song. Yes. I sang that last year when Chris and I went to go to the downs. Did you? <laughs> poor Chris. Yeah, yes, poor Chris. Chris. I don't know. Um, no. That was a good memory. I think when we went to Bognor, wasn't it in um, like half term rather than yeah. summer? No, it was oh, always, yeah. you know, Easter half term and the whip, like the end of October -y time half right. term. So we'd go up to Bognor twice, would we? Yeah, normally. Probably coincided with Dad's trips away. I assume, I'm, I'm not yeah, sure. Pretty much came with us, but once we took all the guinea pigs with us. Did we? Apparently. Mum, remember, Mum told me something about that the other day, that all the guinea pigs were in the back of boot of the car. <laughs> Maybe that was when we were moving house. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember that. No, I don't. But do you remember Mama and how crap she was at driving and that Austin 1100 thing that used to kangaroo down the road? Because she's. I, I remember Mama and Papa all the time. I remember, me, I think it was me, only me, getting been driven somewhere or other, and he kept thinking there's something wrong with his car, but it was the road noise. Oh, right. <laughs> Very funny about his car. Yes. Yeah, and you remember being sat in the living room at, at Bogner and... Door! If you left the door open. I can You're remember... You're in a field! Grand and granddad's in Crummock Street as well, and then grand, they always had that windy up music box thing or something that did that song oh yeah no it was a tankard it was a tankard and um, it was about the, the austrian tankard. yes and it was the mountain song and stuff and then it that was dad bought that when he did his national service in germany brought it back yeah. i think did he yeah i think so oh, oh, correct oh, yes that's the one oh, do it again I don't know if it's Honda. And that's, okay, that's where it, we all, it smelled. We had tin salmon, which was a treat, and we were allowed to go round the corner to that shop, and sometimes we got dandelion and burdock. Ooh. It was at the shop at the bottom of Crummock Street. Was top it? of Crummock Street, as I would call it. Was it? it the top of Crummock Street turned right. And that's where the fish and chip shop was as well. Well, vaguely, yeah. I don't really remember that. I just I remember all the brightly paint, painted uh, doorsteps and um, like and walls. Stone walls are all different colours. Yeah. So you, probably so when you were drunk, you knew which house was yours by the colour of the. <laughs> the door. That wasn't something that mum and dad did, did they? They never left us and went to the pub or did anything like that when we were kids ever. As far as we know. Well, as far as we remember, I'm sure they didn't. But of course, the major event of all of our family holidays, going seven hours or something up to the lakes or five hours down to Bognor, was having to have quells, being forced to eat... Oh, no! Oh, raspberry-flavoured quells to yeah, stop us from being like sick. Yeah, they make you feel sick. Just <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And they still smell the same today, those little pink things. So they they, they make them, oh dear. Yeah, yeah. still make them. Remember they those. The smell is sick. Along with all our meat, oh, so mum was always cooking, of course, and then we, our treat was the angel delight. <laughs> we all know what happened. Yeah. It's a myth. 
You were an angel delight. It wasn't my fault. I, got, I was poisoned you... by my mother. Birthday parties. At, I remember the birthday parties at Five Trevor Drive. And... I remember the lack of birthday parties. For some... Oh, why was that? You were naughty, Julian, and you were nasty and hid the egg. Oh. Once. One yeah. time. One time when I was eight, and then I've not had a birthday party since. <laughs> oh, so I've owed 49 birthday parties. Your parents. I'm sure you were taking ice skating in lieu of that, or something like that. Not in Trevor Drive. No, not in Trevor Drive. But no. In Trevor. That was, I think, I was particularly horrible one birthday, and that was in band. And I think the reality was that because your birthday was two days before mine, oh, mother couldn't stand to do two birthday parties in a week, which can't blame her for having had kids. Oh. Yeah, so that was a good excuse. But um, I do apologise, mother, that I was so horrible when I was eight. Surely you, by now, with your Christian spirit, you might have forgiven me. Forgiveness, <laughs> yes. And what then, of course, we moved to North Allerton which we all know the first trauma of the North Allerton thing when we shut poor little Sarah in the loft. Oh, yes. I that was cool that day, yes. That was a classic. Well, we've been there about 10 minutes, haven't we? Two weeks. Was it two weeks? Yes, that must have been rather... Was Dad away then, or was he... A... Uh, was I think... Work? No, Dad was at work. Right. And Mum didn't know where the hospital was, so Dad met us at the hospital and you went next door and they gave you baked beans and you'd seen all the blood. Really? That's what I remember. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> I probably remember, oh, I'm going to get into a lot of trouble for this. <laughs> oh, I sorry. always remember the look on Nicola's face as I ran through the door. But I was going to say, Trevor Drive, I remember... That vicar that used to come and play squash. John, Father John. Father John. Yes. And Mum said that some of the neighbours thought she was having an affair because he used to come and play squash with Dad before work and he was seen leaving the house after having had a shower or something. <laughs> oh, dear. That, was, that, was a, that would have been a quite a good affair, wouldn't it, with a Catholic priest? Because he was Catholic, he wasn't even a Protestant. Oh, wasn't he? I no, 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 he wasn't. I'm pretty no. sure he was a... I can't remember where the relationship came from, but he was really good to the family as well. No, we knew him for years, didn't we? Yeah. But carry on. Carry on. Where were we? We were in oh, Bromham and Nick and Sarah done a dive through a glass door all on her own. That Nothing was... To do with us. That was <laughs> Nothing to do with us at all, Nicola, was it? Nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with us, no. Yeah. But what I remember about North Allerton then was obviously Dad didn't work very far away, so that was great. And so he was always um, back. And we used to have to be very quiet for the news at six o'clock, but we watched either the engine and things like that, didn't we, before that? Which I think Dad enjoyed more than us. Absolutely. And what was his favourite cartoon? So his, his favourite was always a Fred Quimby, Tom and Jerry. Yes. Tina the dog would, every meal time, or it seemed like that, go and have a poo outside the, the, the window. <laughs> we all would talk about it. Oh, dear, I don't really remember that. I remember. No, I don't remember that, but there were a lot of... The lady across the road going to the loo and everybody commenting on whether it was so-and-so and so-and-so. Oh, who was the lady? Um, right, you'd been the bungalow in front, in front. Yeah. They were cool. Oh, what were they? I remember that, but I can remember time fish, fishing line to a, a door knocker on a mischief night and just knocking it from hidden behind a tree, and she'd come out and there was nobody there, and then shut the door again yeah. and I'd knock it again. Anyway, that's, that's naughty me, but it's about our parents. Do you remember the wonderful 1970s dinner parties that they used to have? Yes. 
I oh. do. With those curtains and the joked hair and the hair. That's all I can remember. Dad bought back from um, Morocco or Nigeria or somewhere some caftans. They were all the rage in the 70s. Oh, yes. And they put these bloody caftans on with little buttons all the way down the front. <laughs> I remember that vividly. Like, what on earth is going on here? Yeah, black, yeah. Did Dad wear a caftan? I remember there was black with lovely gold buttons. So very yeah. Pretty, but oh, did Mum Dad have a blue, blue one? Mum had a white and blue one. I think I, I can't quite remember, but it was like we got shoved upstairs because the Hobsons were coming round for the dinner party. Oh, the Hobsons! Right, yes. Oh, yes. No, the Hobson parents. Yes. Barry and yes. Margaret would come round fagging it all over the place. I wonder if they were allowed to fag it in our house. They probably were. Because, no, I don't know. Because gra granddad um, smoked his pipe in the house, I think. Yeah. I guess it wasn't even thought yeah, of. Even then. But um, yes, I remember those famous dinner parties where we were crouched at the top of the stairs trying to listen and find out what was going on. <laughs> and I think they just got drunk on red wine and jugged hair and yeah. Had a jolly smashing time and, and, and played uh, New Seekers albums on the uh, on the stereo or, <laughs> or Top oh, of the yeah, Pop probably. Top of the Pops Pop. albums. Yes, oh, covers yeah. of all the really bad songs. Yeah. Five Penny Piece. Oh yeah. yeah. Like what? Five Penny Piece. Yes, that was that was one. And um Mike Harding. Was it Mike Harding with his Big Jim was a worm. <laughs> yes. Remember that one? Vaguely. Big Jim was a worm, was a great big worm, was a great big beautiful bloody weight worm, round and fat and just like a picture, crossed with an eel and a boa constrictor. Freddy Mum whiskey made him frisky, pies and a pint or two. Big Jim was a worm, was a great big worm, was a great big beautiful bloody weight worm. Why can't I remember where my car keys are, but I can still remember a crappy song from the 1970s. I can't remember that song. I don't um, remember that song. Well, it's not a sense of humour. Yeah. I can't remember it. Yes. I can remember, yes, what else? I can remember the garage and the room at the back of the garage, which was when for Gran and Grandad when they came to stay. Yes, yeah. It must have been cold in there in winter because they had a flat roof. They travelling away. Um, and that time when there was a, oh, well, no, that was when they invaded the Falcons and he was in um, Argentina. Yes. That was a classic. Asked to leave, I think. Well, I think, yeah, but it, wasn't he talking to an American really loud and he was trying to pretend he was not a British person and the American kept asking him in very loud voice questions? <laughs> I don't know that story. I don't know that story either. Well, uh, wouldn't surprise me. But, um, so what else? Um... I remember the hairs hanging up in the garage. Oh, they stunk, didn't they? They stunk. Yeah, alive. And the booze that we used to taste. The homemade the wine. Yeah. Oh, that was the worst. It was hideous, Dad. <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> we even stopped tasting it. Dandelions. Them. Dandelions to make dandelion wine. And... Wasn't it elderflower? Was it elderflower and dandelion. All sorts of stuff, yeah. And there was all this stuff bubbling away in the garage. And, yeah. I don't know who used to drink it. I can't um, believe it. I right? think it was probably me. <laughs> 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 I can actually remember taking a bottle, uh, a an old shampoo bottle, filling it out with wine and taking it to Allerton Shire School for, for, for lunch. <laughs> Oh, God, did you? Yes, I did. <gasps> How naughty. How terrible. So I was an alcoholic even at 11 years old or whatever. <laughs> it wouldn't have tasted very nice in a no, shampoo bottle. in a shampoo bottle. I, I seem to recall that I didn't wash the bottle out enough to start with. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit, a bit foamy. But yes, yes, there was always stuff boiling away in there and... With our bikes on the drive and made little ramps and stuff as well. Oh yeah, and of course horses, horsey jumps around the garden. Yes. Yeah, we did horsey jumps around the garden. Yeah, we did. 
And the um, garden went all the way round, or did it have a fence put up pretty soon after we got there? At one point, I'm sure we could go from the back garden to the front garden, and then there was a fence there at some point. Yeah, they were building County Hall, weren't they? And then they put a big fence up when the... And then we played. Do you remember playing with those big roll things? We used to try and, try and run on them. And cable so, drums, yeah. Wooden cable drums. Yeah, cable drums. They yeah, were they were brilliant. In fact, it was a brilliant place to play, wasn't it? Was yes, it was good. In we had a good childhood in North Holliston. I remember that flat roof. Walk to school. We had to walk to school all the time. We didn't get taken, did we? I can remember. Well, we, at Allenshire, we get to cycle. Oh, I cycle every day. I didn't walk. I didn't cycle. Don't know why. Grammar I school, walked. I walked, but then it wasn't yeah. very far. No. Um, but then you had the playing fields right outside the house with another uh, with another willow tree. Oh which yes, was always up. And every Sunday we had to go for a walk, mostly to Silton Forest. Yes. After we'd been to church, because we went to church at nine fifteen in Romanby. <laughs> yeah. And Sunday we had to have a family day. We weren't allowed to go off playing with other friends and people, were we? I don't remember it like that, that we were forbidden to play with friends. I don't think, I think it's our family day. I think once we were allowed, we were allowed once we'd done our walk in our church. But we yeah. had to be around everything else, I don't, yeah. Yeah. And then I got made into a choir boy. Uh, no, a <laughs> server. A server wasn't a choir boy, I just couldn't sing. Yeah, server. You were yes. a server. I like to wear a dress on a Sunday as well. Yeah. Hasn't affected me we at all. all. <laughs> we always went to church and then sometimes Dad used to question us at Sunday lunch to ask us what we remembered about the sermon, which usually was nothing. Yeah, because that was the longest hour of the week, wasn't it? I mean, to go to church. Oh. Yeah. Well, yes. Definitely. Especially on Christmas Day. That was the worst. Oh, yeah. I think all our yeah, friends yeah. thought we were really badly treated because we weren't allowed to open our presents straight away. We had to go to church first. I loved going to church on Christmas Day. What? No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Because oh. you could take your toy to church and it made the day last longer and then you had something to get excited about coming back. Was so yeah, no, I think we got used to it, but everybody did think it was strange, I must admit. Yeah, other yeah. people. But I, it was, and I like our Christmases like that, and that's what you pass on to your kids how you were when you had your own Christmases. Well, I, I tried, but I failed. <laughs> well, the way we do stockings, because some people have those yeah. big, huge sacks and all those nice things. Yeah. And I remember them with the David, Uncle David's. Um, School socks, rugby socks, or yes, whatever. That was, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I remember those. So, we sometimes we had Christmas down in Bognor as well, didn't we? Yeah, we did earlier on. Yeah, I guess when we were down in Bromham, it wasn't so far to go. Yeah, I think so. I don't think we, north. yeah, I think once we moved, we didn't go. Yeah, I have a really strong memory of, um. Dad must have gone out for the Earnshaw Christmas party or gone for the pub on the last day before Christmas. And for some reason, we hadn't got the... We, we had a Christmas tree that was planted in the garden and he, he was supposed to dig it up and put it in a pot. So we used the same one every year. And the ground had been frozen for a week and he came back absolutely smashed from being out with the lads and took a shovel into the back garden to try and dig up this Christmas tree and get it in a pot. But he was tiddly. And we are all looking out the window going, what's Daddy doing? <laughs> Is there something wrong with him? <laughs> I can't remember that. And then Mother going, oh, like blinking idiot or something. <laughs> Ooh, Mummy said blinking. <laughs> yeah, she saw. Yes, we weren't allowed to swear, were we? We were pretty... Um... Yeah, but Mum and Dad didn't swear. I don't ever no. remember anything like that. No. I think the first time I got away with swearing was um, when Dad was teaching me to drive. Oh. And 
and somebody pulled out in front of us really badly. Or I don't think it was me doing anything wrong. And I went, bloody hell. And he said, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've crossed that boundary now. <laughs> You're away. That's why you've not stopped since. And, uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, parents. I must yeah. have said disappointment. No. Yes, but I, well, I'm going to go back now to animals because I remember oh. mum, when we had po we had Terry first and then all the other ponies and horses we've had, and mum would do loads and actually ride them for us. And then it reverted because then when dad was in his late 50s, he decided if you can't beat them, join them. And then he got tiny and he was riding and coming hunting. And I had to look after him going hunting and it was like role reversal. Yes. Yeah, because he kept falling off. He just kept doing things and saying, well, that's what Tiny wanted to do. <laughs> oh, right. So we, he wasn't a particularly um, gifted horseman then, should we say? Well, he didn't fall off and he did really, really well, but Tiny did look after him. He was a real gentleman. But then sometimes right. I was like, Dad, what are you doing? You're cutting in front of other people. No, Tiny wanted to go. I said, well, you're not going to him. Bless. Yeah, so mum used to ride, didn't she, early on? Yeah, all the time. And uh, But she stopped riding once she saw Magic jump over the hedge next door with David Frank on her back because he said he wanted to have a ride and he couldn't really ride and it was a bit of a disaster. And that right. put mum on. And that's when her riding days ended, I think. <laughs> no, so, so she hurt like, her back, didn't she? What, what? She hurt her back, I think, riding. Yeah, maybe, but... It was mum that got us going with horses and it was mum that got us going when we were rode Star at Wolfwaite, wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, Star. The big and brown they... pony. Yeah. The big Furwell's cartoon pony. Well, there was a picture somewhere with us three, all three on his back. Yeah, I can remember that. I think that was the yeah. year that Pete came as well. Oh, was it? Yeah, I think so, because I think there's a picture of him on it and... Um, was it the Hobson, Kit Jane and Sally came as well or visited us while we were there? Can't remember that, but yeah. That could have been the famous yeah. summer of 76 with the super hot weather and thunderstorm. Well, we down that stream at the bottom. Yeah, I made a... Oh, you were diving into it, I remember, because you were a really good swimmer. It was, yeah, I, I think we built a... Over two weeks, the dam was built bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and more full of muddy water. And yeah, it was great. It's really good. It's like having your own swimming pool. Yeah. So. And then um, what else did we do after that? Well, later on, well, I didn't go on the. You two went with mum and dad to Portugal on the first holiday abroad ever. Yeah. Well, you probably you chose not to, I believe. Yeah, I was doing something with a horse, or or a boyfriend, and learning how to smoke oh, or something like that. A horse, I think I was working at Barker's. For the what was the horrible friend you had? Oh, that was before all that. Christine Wake. Christine Wake, yes, yes. Oh dear, I don't know. Yeah, it was that a good was holiday, wasn't it, Sarah? It was. We had a lovely time and we were going to have, I remember meeting the next door neighbour who cooked us a meal and she told me we were going to have a snake. Snails. Well, it was snails, not snakes. I know, but she said to me and I'd understood it as snake. Right. And then you, what, you ran a mile, did you? I think I was staying in the house on my own because I went and got badly sunburned and you'd all gone out to get something. So I think maybe she was looking after me or something, I don't know. Right. I feel like their house was attached to our house. It was yeah. Sort of, it was lovely. Yeah. That was down near Porta de Moss somewhere, I think. But you won't remember, Sarah. No. Did you not? Oh, so you didn't stay in the apartment. You stayed somewhere no, else. That was before they bought it. They rented a little... Um, a, I think they bought the apartment, but it wasn't ready or they hadn't got out of it. So we had to find something near Porta de Moss somewhere. Yeah, I seem to think it wasn't, was it being built or something? I don't know, there was something, was it wasn't finished. So the guy who Dad was buying it off supplied this other thing. Yeah, I think that was the arrangement. We had that tiny little grill thing. We had sardines, lovely. 
had them in this week when we were on the island of Calatra, but that's another story. Yes, so funny that. So the, my, my, our love of Portugal grew from there. Yeah. And here I am. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our mum and dad's love of Portugal, really. Yeah. Well, dad started because of business and then yeah. mum, and then, yeah. So that's another. That must have been about 82, thinking I was 14. Right. So that's yeah. their big thing, that, their big thing. Oh, what I think about mum and dad is that they always seem to do lots of things together and yeah. traveling and, and seem to like those things. They love Australia. They love doing their tour of South America and they love going to Portugal and eating nice food. Yes. And well, dad yeah. drinking. Dad's nickname at Earnshaw's was Five Puds Morris. Right. Or Morris Five Puds, because he would make everybody order pudding even if they didn't want one, so he could have them. Little and piggy. He's thin as nothing's a lat changed. now, it's not fair. No, nothing's changed. Yes. Nothing's changed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what else can we What about think? you, Julian? When I've only heard recently how when we moved up to Borroughby, you went back to our old house, let yourself in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? My error. error. Yes, well, you everybody moved. I went away to college and came back and you were in the same house. <laughs> I've forgotten. I think I spoke to mum the night before and she said, you, you won't forget that we moved to Borroughby. Oh, of course not. No, 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 I'll be fine. And pulled my crappy little green mini onto the driveway of, um, of the old house. Oh, we've got a new front door. Oh. <laughs> new new carpet in the house. Oh. Yes. Was it the old lock then? So your key worked? No, it wasn't. A, it was just a, it was an, a, they must have painted the door or something, but the, um, there wasn't a key on it on the outside. You just turned the handle and walked in. Oh. And this woman said, oh, you must be Julian. Why was that? Uh, Caroline said you might be around. Something like those lines. <laughs> My boneheaded son will probably turn up here on his way home. Yeah. Oh well. All right. <laughs> Remember the uh, the round window then uh, in the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. the boat yeah. in it wasn't it sailing boat yeah that was cool yeah and yeah. Um, do you remember in Almond Grove the awful cladding that we had in the kitchen? Oh, yeah. That Wood wouldn't... panelling, like yeah. the sort of stuff you put on the floor these days. It was, yeah. it was like a Swiss chalet in the kitchen. And we had that brand new state-of-the-art white table, that round table, which was so modern and we were so fashionable. Don't remember that. Or in the kitchen? Yeah. Mm. It was just for It was oh. for Mike, though, wasn't it? And there was the cupboard where you could get right through from the coat cupboard into the hall. Yeah, thing. yeah, that was weird. And that's yeah. where the, the the box of biscuits in the market always used to be. Oh, the broken biscuits. Ten yeah. kilos of broken biscuits that me and Pete could get through in an afternoon. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and the gold ones with wrappers on. Yes, lovely. And then if you were okay. The bonus we used to have after the, um, the Paris Leather Fair in September when they'd get back yeah, all that. those little bottles of drinks and yeah. stuff left over from the fair. I remember that lovely orange juice that came in those tins or the lemon juice, oh, whatever. Yeah, it was. I don't it was remember that. Yeah. yeah. I always remember the sweet things. I'm not sure why. Oh, I can't, can't imagine. I can't imagine. I also have this memory that I lived with for years and years when dad had just finished painting your bedroom door it was a beautiful white shiny door and i got a pen and i drew a stick man with a big smiling face not realizing i'd used a permanent marker nice and dad had literally just finished and so i panicked i got a pan scrub and i scrubbed it all off but when the door was facing a certain light, you could see just scrub marks in the shape of a stick man. That's so great. every time the sun shone in that way, I made sure I was upstairs and I just moved the door so Dad wouldn't notice. Was it your door? Oh, 
Was it your door? No, it's your door. Mine? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Graffiti on my door. <laughs> I never, never spotted it. And uh, wow. yeah. Yes, I mean, we did put our parents through quite a bit of hell, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We're sorry. But then that's that's yeah. we've turned out all right in the end yeah. yeah we're nearly there we're nearly all right now aren't we yeah nearly yeah and all the traumas of failed relationships we won't even go there no, yeah. God, no. no oh, that, must, be, that, that must, must be hell for them yeah and absolutely. look where they've got to now 60 years of married bliss i know Quan. yeah absolutely well sorry we couldn't do the same no, that's never going to happen now to any of us, is it? Well, maybe if we add them all up, we might get there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 14. You've got 14, did you? I think I got eight or something the first time. I'm up to 12 now. No, no, I'm not. Eight again. When did I get married? 2014. No, yes. Seven. 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 Seven year itch. Yeah. Yes, but don't worry. Well, you got married. And I met Chris in the same year after the... Because I always thought I wanted to be able to go to your wedding with a partner, and there wasn't, so me and Sarah were partners. Really? Was that the same year, 2014, that was? Yeah, because I met him in the September. Oh, OK, OK. Super. Yeah, so, well, yeah, so there's been quite a few marriages and... I mean, good, good parties. More divorces between their children. <laughs> yeah, and other situations with other friends of people. <laughs> what do you mean? Our, all our other partners. Oh, we yes, there's quite, been quite a few of those. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Should we change the subject? Yes. Yeah. Get depressed. No. <laughs> No, we think of happy times now. Think what? Of all the happy times now and how fantastic it is that Mum and Dad made done 60 years. Yeah. Do you think that moving up to Borrowby was a big turning point in uh, how getting out of North Allerton and going up to Borrowby and having the land and... Well, I don't know, but I... That's turning into some sort of semi-farmer with... I think they've really enjoyed living in Borough because it was a more of a community because yeah. it's a smaller village and I think that's really good and for future it's nice to have people around although we still had nice people in Almond Grove but I think yeah. I know you didn't like it as much Ju, but we all love, love the facilities that we had here and the opportunities well I never really lived there that much because oh. I'd gone off to Northampton and then uh, I came back to the wrong house, of course. And then yeah. after Northampton, I went to Gloucestershire and then I came back to work for Earnshaws. And I think I stayed in Borrowby for about three months until I found a house somewhere to rent. I think mum was on the yeah. verge of kicking me out. You better find somewhere to live. Why, mother? Because you treat this place like a dos house. Mm. <laughs> Oops. And then the, the minute I, I moved out, they converted my room into an office, so I could never come back. <laughs> I know, that's cruel, isn't it? Yeah, it's terrible. on the end of it. Yeah. So, I don't know how you really had a bedroom in that tiny room. You always had tiny rooms, didn't you? Yeah, uh, because I didn't have all that clutter that a, a lady has. Boy, boys have the smaller room, yeah, definitely. That? that doesn't seem fair at all. And no birthday parties. I mean, what is this? <laughs> you should be having some cats, Lindy. Yeah, quite. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. So what else, what else have we um, put our parents through? Yes. I used to feel really sorry for my parents when I read my school report. Yeah. Oh. Not only did I get no qualifications, but Sarah, if she spent as much time messing about in class, um, doing her homework, she'd be very clever or something like that. And yes. I was a disaster. So I'm really sorry I wasn't academic in that way. And well, maybe I should have stopped school earlier. You've turned out all right, though, and you've done all right. I've turned out all right. Not too bad. 
<laughs> we're all not too bad, aren't we? All... I think we're not too bad. If you yeah. think about the scheme of things in this world, I think we're not too bad. Absolutely, considering that our father wasn't there for like four months of the year, every year. So it was our mother who yeah. brought us up most of the time. And then he used to come back with all these presents. And he, yes. and I, I, held, I hold him completely responsible for my love of boats because he always used to bring me back boats from all over the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, right. Contiki, I didn't really that. Contiki and wooden boats from Africa. Oh, yes, I remember that. Yes, yeah. it was always boats. So it's all his fault. It is all his fault. Yes. But then, uh, and I, my memories of the Lake District being dragged there and dragged up hills. Yeah, Not look what happened to you. at that age, but I absolutely love it now, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Completely I can see that changed. history repeating itself with George is, loves the Lake District now. Harry likes yeah, it as well, but they absolutely... George keeps yeah. going over there and climbing things, so... Yeah, it's good. Yes, following on the third generation of hill walkers. Yes, there you go, Dad. I don't have any hill walkers, so I apologise. You what? I don't think I have any hill walkers, sorry. No. Apart from, I enjoy hill walking now, but I used to much prefer it on a bike. Yes. Matthew, actually, Matthew goes up hills on a bike. So yeah, well, he has been in the Tour de France or whatever he's done this week. Yeah, I don't know if he's done so, But, I don't know, do we bring it to a close and say what wonderful parents they were? Ah. Oh, they were. Oh. Were. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 I think so. Yes, you are wonderful parents. We love you loads. And we can't thank you because you do loads for us. They do loads yeah, for us. Absolutely. And even. so generous and so kind and so loving. And they're always there for us, even when we are a pain in the butt. Yeah, which is quite often. Yeah, yeah quite often. Yes. Also, I had to, I got shouted down, or not shouted down, one of my clients said, yes. Sarah, you have told me how proud you are of your parents who do Pilates twice a week. <laughs> well, so, I'm so proud of you and your amazing fitness and health and positivity and keep it coming. Yeah. Absolutely. Happy anniversary, Happy. Mummy and Daddy. Happy anniversary. Love you. Love you. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Hi Yoto, many congratulations on your diamond wedding anniversary. Uh, I hope you have a great evening and all the best for the future. Bye for now. Happy 60th wedding anniversary. You two have been married for twice my age plus 10 years. <laughs> Glad to see it's going so well. Hey, happy anniversary. Congratulations, such a wonderful milestone. Love you both. Happy anniversary. I'm so proud of you both for all your Pilates and your health and your happiness and your love. Thank you so much for being my mummy and daddy. Have a lovely day. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Grandad. Congratulations on making it to 60 years married. Best wishes to both of you and I hope you have a lovely day. Hi, Caroline and Morris. Congratulations on 60 year anniversary. Uh, love you and see you soon. Happy 60th wedding anniversary, Grandma and Granddad. Have a good day. Congratulations to my adoptive uh, parents. Wow, 60 years. Caroline, how on earth have you managed that? Um, only kidding, Morris. Hope you have a fantastic time. Lots of love. Bye. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary Mummy and Daddy. Caroline. Have a fantastic day. Love you. Happy 60th wedding anniversary. Oh good. <laughs> Hello, and a really happy anniversary from us all. Oh, no. Mr. Ted is sending you Mr. all Ted's his reluctant. love. And ah. we really, really, really appreciate everything you do for us. We couldn't manage without you. We love you loads. You're both absolutely amazing. And we are going to be there to celebrate your big day. Sorry, Mr. Ted can't oh, come. No. Oh, no. But... Happy, yeah. Happy anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> We've all said not the phone over. Happy anniversary. Love you loads. Bye bye. Bye. 
Hi, Caroline and Morris. Very, very happy sixth happy anniversary. anniversary. Take care. Lots of love. Bye bye then. Bye. bye. Oh, you've got to tell us when you're starting. Okay. Are you ready? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Um, and then I'll let you talk. Okay. Do we say happy anniversary together? Yes, I think so. Oh, isn't that nice? Happy 60th anniversary. Happy, or just happy, happy anniversary. 60th anniversary. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, are you ready? ready. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> Go. Go. Loki and Morris have a very happy 60th, 60th wedding, wedding anniversary. anniversary. I can't believe it's all that long. Quite amazing. The days go by quickly. The years go by quickly. Anyway, I hope to see you shortly. I know my way up to, uh, well, York. I say I, I can find York and then I can find you. So um, all of you have a lovely time. Be thinking of you. And Cloakie, you can open my card now. Um, she will have already. It was a month early. <laughs> yes, but she sealed it up again. Oh, <laughs> it's so naughty. Oh, anyway, lots of love to you and uh, be thinking of you anyway. Uh, this is taken at about half past eight on a Saturday evening. Um, Lottie in her pyjamas. <laughs> Me looking, I've been gardening. No, I haven't. <laughs> you better stop. Anyway. We're done. Go, stop. Happy anniversary! Congratulations on your big anniversary! Love from the Rotters!